from a place where I had no choice but to calm down and to settle down. So this version of me that you guys are getting right now, this version of me who you even have seen over on the internet for the last couple of days, um, not even the person I've been with for the last decade has seen that version of me because I hid her away so well. I hid her away so well because for one, I didn't want to be the person I know I can be to the person I love and I mess with. Like I literally fuck with my ex. Like. So basically what I'm hearing is just going back because um, I have to, you know, make a point. Basically, she basically is saying that she dumped herself down for Grams. Like I said before, you know, Grams was very intimidated and jealous of Lily's growth. The woman that Lily we see, the woman she's saying that we see today, the bossed up, I could leave you and never look back type woman. That woman that she is today is basically who she was holding back from Grams because she really messed with Grams. Like she wanted to be with Grams. So she literally uh, kept that strength in a box because she wanted to be with Grams. So she dumbed herself down, cramped her potential, and <clears throat> basically allowed Grams to feel like she had some type of power or superiority over her all because she wanted to keep her. And it's like a lot of times um when we want somebody or when we love somebody whether it's a friend or a lover we do sometimes self-sabotage and we you know cramp our growth and we um we just like we don't become our best selves because we're afraid well if i become my best self the person's not gonna like it i'm gonna lose my friend i'm gonna lose my lover if you can't be your best 100 percent self with somebody, your friend or a lover, that person basically is not your friend or a real lover that loves you because a person that loves you wants you to grow, wants you to be the woman that Lily is today. Like she said, her ex never seen Lily like this. The bossed up chick that she is today, she said her ex, Grams ain't never seen Lily like this because Lily always chose to play like she was weak and play like you know okay i'm gonna just you know hold myself you know my potential in a box so that you know my my partner can feel better about herself all because grams is insecure and not on her ish and all because she's not there and when it comes to growth lily cramped her growth for grams when all along lily was this all along when she dropped grams look at what she became look at how she glowed up look at how she flourished the woman that she is that we see, business boss, do, do, like she would not have been able to get as far as she did if she was with Grams because Grams is a cancer. Grams is somebody that cannot take um, because of her insecurities. Someone, you know, she perceives doing better than her. She cannot take, you know, feeling like, OK, my girl, my own girl, she's doing better. And even if it's her own girl, she feels insecure. And so... It's like, get your shit together if so you won't feel insecure. So to make sure that Grams felt secure, Lily dumbed herself down and she sabotaged herself, basically. And she remained in a little box so that she can please Grams' insecure ass, basically. That's what she's saying. That was my best friend. Like, I love her to death. You know what I'm saying? So I would never want to be that type of person to her. So I changed the woman... I was to become a better woman and to become the woman I'm becoming because she she ain't there all the way. Well, over the, no, over the last two days since my I had already saw that my ex had been on the Internet making it seem like Tell she me. was just a, she ain't there all the way. Well, over the, over the last two days since seen that version of me because I hear her away so well. I hear her away so well because for one, I didn't want to be the person I know I can be to the person I love and I mess with. Like I literally fuck with my ex. Like that was my best friend. Like I love her to death, you know what I'm saying? So I would never want to be that type of person to her. So I changed the woman I was to become a better woman and to become the woman I'm becoming. Cause she, she ain't there all the way. Well, but, uh, oh. Right, so basically she changed the woman she was when she was with Grams. Basically she said, because Grams never seen her bossed up and like, oh, deuce, goodbye, you know, you know, Lily like this. She ain't never seen that. 
this version right here that we're seeing, she ain't never seen that. You know, she's used to like Lily choosing to be, you know, very submissive, not even like in a kind of relationship, I'm submissive towards my partner way, but dumbing myself down type way to make you feel better about your insecure self because you feel incomplete and, you know, broken. So Lily basically had to switch that up and become the woman she's becoming today and grow and be who she is, who we see today. And it required her to let Grams go because Grams would not have allowed Lily to flourish like this. She would have tried everything to sabotage her growth. She would have tried to do everything to make Lily feel like she needs her. And it's like Lily does not need her. And that is exactly why Grams is acting a fool on the internet. And it's having people, you know, is reposting reactions, you know, that don't make sense. You know, talking about, oh, she wanted to screw my best friend. Did she did she have sex with Grams' best friend? No. Um, oh, a pregnancy test. Um, where's the baby? The thing is, is that just because Grams, you're insecure about the fact that Lily has a past with men does not mean you have the right to lie on her name and say she's a whore and a thought. Like throughout the whole relationship, you used to hear Grams call Lily a whore and a thought. Why? Because 2012, Bryce was born. She got pregnant. And that was the time period where her and Erica weren't even in a legitimate, solid relationship. They were going back and forth, back and forth. Because Grams had bitches and Lily went to her baby daddy. So it's like they were not even in a solidified monogamous relationship. She was very much so a free agent and could get pregnant by whoever she wanted to and be with whoever she wanted to because Grams was fucking with whoever she wanted to fuck with. You know what I'm saying? So it's like Grams, you know, have, has no reason to be upset because Lily didn't cheat because y'all wasn't together. Y'all was back and forth, back and forth. It's kind of like you dealing with somebody y'all hot and heavy y'all feel like y'all together but it's not set in stone y'all not solid y'all not solid nobody sat down and said okay we together we monogamous we, we monogamous you know um like lily was figuring our sexuality too at that time so you know like very single figuring things out you got bitches she got her baby daddy that was basically like a time period of um discovery you know what i'm saying like no relationship, just discovering herself and where does she want to be? And Grams is doing her thing. So there was no relationship. Lily never cheated on Grams. So fine. But but the thing is, Grams is in her feelings because as a stud, she felt intimidated and insecure about the fact that the girl she wanted to be with was was still messing with her baby daddy. Key word, she wanted to be with Lily. That means she was never with Lily. You was never her girl. You felt like she was your girl, but she was never really, really your girl. She had the right to do whatever she wanted to do because she was never your girl. Just because you want something doesn't mean it's yours. So it's like you, you it wasn't solid. It, it wasn't set in stone. Finally, 2014 is when they actually decided to make a relationship and be monogamous. That point forward, Lily was faithful. So it's like she never cheated on Grams. Grams is talking about her baby daddy. I was never together, coon, crazy. Y'all was never together. You said it yourself. She was discovering her sexuality. She basically, you know, it was back and forth with y'all. You had your girls. She was with her baby daddy. It was that it was it was a very very it was a discovery period. It was a period where a lot was going on except a relationship. There was no solid relationship. So really what's happening is Grams was just simply insecure about Lily's baby daddy. Don't say Lily cheated, just say you were insecure about Lily's baby daddy. And you wanted Lily, but you were mad that Lily went to her baby daddy. You were jealous of her baby daddy. Say that. Just say you insecure, was insecure, still is insecure about Lily's baby daddy. Because the girl you wanted to be with was still messing with dudes. But y'all was never together, so she could do that. And you had bitches, so what you upset for? So it's like, the narrative that she painted, like, oh, Lily cheated. She never did. Y'all was never together, sweetheart. No, y'all got serious in monogamous 2014, love. You said that out your own mouth. So really, the truth is, Grams was insecure about Lily's baby daddy because she wanted Lily, and Lily basically was a free agent moving around how she was and was with her baby daddy. 
jealousy and insecurity. It's not cheating. It's jealousy and insecurity. So get your insecurities together. You insecure about a nigga, just say that. You was insecure about her baby daddy, say that. But don't try to lie and say she was cheating on you when there was no title. And just because you was hot and heavy and it felt like I was in a relationship does not mean y'all sat down and said we in a relationship. No, no. 2014 that happened. Out your mouth. You feel me? So it's like people be getting confused just because you talking to someone or just because, you know, you, you really effing with someone does not mean I in a relationship. It, especially in LGBTQ, like before you could even get in a relationship, people be really, really like hot and heavy quick, you know, with, when it comes to like LGBTQ lesbians or whatever the case may be. And, you know, whatever. And even some straight couples do that, too. Quick. You know what I'm saying? And. But it doesn't, but they, it, they don't, they're not quick to put a title on it, but they're like heavy with each other, but there's no title. There's no like commitment there yet. And then finally, okay, let's, let's be committed and let's like lit- literally set things in stone. And then that's when they decide, okay, let's be together. And that's when you got your anniversary date. And yeah, we've been together for four years, blase, 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 blase. So like, that's what it was. Okay, like Grams, you're stop it, you know, insecure. You were insecure by her baby daddy, and that was that that was what that was. You she wasn't cheating on you, you were just mad. And even when she got Lily, her ego was broken and fragile because Lily had a baby by her baby daddy while single, and she was mad about that when she had no reason to be when she had bitches. So it's like, what are you, you know, so she was resentful and would always call Lily a thought and a whore because Lily was with her baby daddy. But who are you and what are you when you got all these bitches around, four, five, six bitches you with, texting, all of that, and all because you want to be with Lily and you can't get your way, she's a whore? And y'all whole single? No, it doesn't work like that, sweetheart. Like, very insecure, very bitter, and, you know, Lily really spared grams because that's the, this is the truth. She spared Grams, really, really spared her. You know what I'm saying? If you watch the video, you can see exactly what it was. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no relationship, back and forth. Like, we doing what we doing, but ain't no title. 2014, we decided to be monogamous. That's what that was. You feel me? So, yeah. I had already saw that my ex had been on the internet making it seem like she was just a victim in this. And I'm not saying that she's not hurt or that she's not hurting or she wasn't hurt in our relationship because I did come to a point where I apologized to her because, you know, we had been through so much. We done been through this cycle right here so many times. It's been so many other girls like the one that she's with right now who she'll get in their mind and manipulate them and make them think that they're going to be here and they feel as get hurt at the end of the day and then it's just still me and I'm still here and I'm riding and I'm holding shit down. You know what I'm saying? So, so look at the manipulation. She said that she apologized to Grimes. And then right after she said that, because Grimes was playing victim. Then right after she said, so she apologized to Grimes. And then she goes to say, we've been through this cycle so much where Grimes is plenty of girls that she'll get in their head. And basically, you know, she don't leave Lily with these side pieces and she comes right back home. So why would Lily apologize to Grimes when she's the offender? Well, because manipulation. I remember one time Lily was saying that Grimes was basically on a phone call or on a FaceTime where her was saying, you know, telling Lily, you know, you should have listened to me. You didn't listen. And. Basically, Lily said Grams almost got into her mind to make her feel like she was at fault for what she did. And pretty much that's what Grams basically was doing with Lily right here. You're the cheater. You the one who step out all the time and do this cycle of, you know, step out on her with chicks and then come back. And then Lily's like, you know, the one wifey and then the other chicks, they get their feelings hurt, like she said, and she drops them. And, then they, and you know, um you know, she comes back to Lily, like, it's a cycle, so it's like, but, but Grams is so manipulative, like, like, I, like, she basically, like Lily said in the beginning of my first video, she thinks that she's always right, she could never be wrong, so it's like, she never takes accountability, so it's to the point where Lily is manipulated, can't win with this person, can't get this person to admit to anything, so she's out here apologizing, 
because that person is making her feel and talking in her ear, making her feel like she did something wrong. That's manipulation. Lily had no reason to apologize to Grams because Grams is the one stepping out. But she's manipulative and was making Lily feel guilty for all her wrong wrongdoings. You know what I'm saying? So it's like I'm happy that Lily basically, uh, you know, she peeped game. After a while, she realized, like, I remember in her life, she was like, I almost thought that I was like the problem. Like, I almost she almost got in my head. Yeah, she's been in Lily's head for years, making her feel, you know, like she's the problem when really Lily's not perfect, but at least Lily was loyal. And at least Lily did not humiliate her by stepping out on her with other men. She and her, the whole relationship with men after men after man after man after man or girl after girl after girl. Ain't no girl or no dude ever come out throughout Graham's relationship, throughout this whole YouTube life that we've seen ain't no man or no female ever come out and say oh Lily did this Lily did that blase blase Grams they broke up plenty of times on camera and they would basically say Lily would be capping for Grams and Grams would be dead ass cheating and Lily would cap for Grams and Grams would basically be explaining why they broke up and Grams never once said oh it's because of Lily cheated because she wasn't the cheater in the relationship Grams was and because she's so manipulative, she basically was making Lily feel like she did something wrong to the point where Lily's apologizing. For what? You did nothing. You know what I'm saying? I thought that this person who I see on the internet playing victim, playing like I, I lost I lost my train of thought. Hold up, let me let me backtrack that. Yeah, playing okay, victim. So I really hate when I'm talking and I lose my train of thought, but I do know that to where you are feeling like you being mistreated, you not being heard, you feeling like there's no change, you gotta make the change. I decided to make the change for me. I decided that I was gonna put my best foot, foot forward and if God was gonna keep sending me these signs and keep pushing me to really take this leap of faith because it was a leap. It was so hard for me to let this person actually go to tell this person no more you're not gonna have your cake and eat it too with me you're not gonna do this it was so hard for that <clears throat> yeah so basically that's that's the truth like she let grams go she said no more she said you're not gonna cheat on me again she said no more cycles she said no more back and forth she said no more side bitches she said that and that's why grams is on grams is on the internet acting a fool because lily actually let her go and said bye you cannot come back. You cannot have your cake and ice cream. You can't. You just simply cannot. You know what I'm saying? She had to put her foot down and take that leap, and and that and that kills Grams. And that's exactly why she's on a smear campaign, trying to justify, trying to move around the truth, trying to make it seem like trying to place blame on Lily and play victim, like you know Lily said, and like we all see. You feel me? And she just can't handle the fact that she fucked up. And it's her actions that is the reason why she's single. Because guaranteed, like Lily said, it's plenty of bitches like Avery that came through that got dropped. And then Lily, you know, was the one that, that was left standing as wifey. Please believe when when Grams was like in the house with Lily, Lily put her out. Grams would have never went to Avery or would have never moved in with Avery because Avery would have been one of them bitches that she would have eventually played with and dropped and, 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 you know, got rid of. But the thing is, is that this time, Lily said, no, you left, you cheated, you want to stay in this house, and you want to cheat? Nah, stay over there. And that's the difference, okay? That's the difference. This time, Avery stuck only because Lily let Grams go. She was in the house. If she left Lily... Why was she still in the house? Why was all her clothes and everything still in the house? It's because she was used to the cycle of I can have I can have side bitches and Lily too. That's why she was still there. If she was so into Avery and so in love with Avery, why would she wait for Lily to put her out to go be with Avery? She was sneaking around with Avery, hiding it from Lily. You're not important if a person has to sneak around and hide you. You a side bitch. You're unimportant. You feel me? She was in the house with Lily and only left because Lily got Lily put her out. And when she put her out pridefully, she went to you. You were the fallback. You were the plan B. Like the baby that nobody want. You the girl that Grams never wanted but had to go because Lily put her out and left her. 
and said no more. So the only reason why Avery stuck right now is because Grams basically got put out. She had no intention of leaving that house. That's why she only packed up a bag and left everything. Because she thought that she was going to pack up a bag and go be with the side bitch. And then Graham and Lily was going to call her. Okay, you can come back home after putting her out. And then all her stuff would be there and they would make up. That's what she thought. But this time, Lily switched up on her and said, nope. Stay over there. And ever since then, Grams has been a crackhead. She's been acting like a crackhead. So hard. I wanted my family. More than anything. More than anything. I wanted my family. You know what? I went hard for my family. I've been sure faithful. Did. I've been loyal. I stood 10 toes for my family for the last eight years. To where you are feeling like you being mistreated, you not being heard, you feeling like there's no change, you gotta make the change. I decided to make the change for me. I decided that I was gonna put my best foot, foot forward and if God was gonna keep sending me these. Mm -hmm. So just try, just try, just take a step out on faith. Help this community to wait for me to do this and I'm gonna try it for 30 days. And I tried it. And I stayed consistent with it. And it I wanted my family. More than anything. More than anything, I wanted my family. You know what, I went hard for my family. I've been faithful, I've been loyal. I stood 10 toes for my family for the last eight years. Big facts. If I can do this, you can do it. You just got to put one foot in front of the other and you got to make that change and you got to commit to it. And I just wanted to see, it's the same as if when I started my business, when I first started YouTube, I said. So truthfully, you know, end of the story is she's been faithful. She's been loyal. Like I said, Grams never ever came out and said anything about they, them being in a relationship and her just cheating with a dude or a girl all she would ever say was Bryce's dad when they were not monogamous when they were not official because of her insecurities but Lily was faithful and loyal when they did solidify their relationship she was monogamous and Grams was the offender so it's like you know I'm happy that she took that leap and let her go and said no more so like I said Avery you only got Grams because it's by default you were the plan b you could not have gotten her because if it was up to Grams, Grams would have still been in the house, like Lily said, and would have been messing with Avery on the side. She would have never left her home because Avery was just one of them girls. But because Lily put her out and said, nope, you can't do it no more. Now she's over there with Avery. She got to be over there. Not because she wants to be over there. Lily made her get over there because Lily said, no, she got cut off. And that is why, like I said, Graham is out here acting like a crackhead, acting like she ain't got no sense, you know, trying to justify her actions. She cannot accept that you you ruined your whole family. You fucked up your own family. You fucked up your own family. And that's what she cannot handle and take accountability for. But you fucked up your own family, sweetheart. The end.